Hi everybody and welcome. Oh look, there's Nemo in the corner. Right about there. He's so sneaky, he's always trying to sneak his way into um, my videos and photos. So today we're going to be doing a slow, steady, and strong flow practice with a lot of focus on ujjayi breathing, slowing down the breath, and also finding that pause, that space between the inhales and exhales. In that space, there is a really sweet stillness and quiet um, between the movement of the breath. And so we'll practice settling into that stillness and that space between the breaths in our practice today. And I want you just to notice what that feels like and how that affects you in your practice and how that might, finding that stillness and that pause might help you um, off the mat as you're going throughout your day and encountering certain situations and people and interactions. So I wanted to share a quote with you as we begin our practice. Uh, find a comfortable seat, sit up tall, and you can close your eyes if you like. Start to tune into your breathing. Slow, steady, ujjayi breath. In and out through your nose. Okay, so that ujjayi breath, if you're not familiar with it, we're constricting the back of the throat. Breathing in and out through the nose and you will notice a little bit of a sighing sound like this, but it's a little quieter because we're doing it with a mouth closed. So it's like this. You might not even be able to hear it, but it's this very quiet sighing sound. So go ahead and start to breathe in and out through your nose. Noticing the way it feels to inhale. Noticing the pause at the top of the breath before the exhale begins. Noticing the pause at the bottom of the exhale before the inhale begins. And just feeling the breath. Settling into that stillness, that space between the breath, however brief it might be. Feeling yourself settling, tuning into the body, tuning into the breath. And I'd like to share this quote from Viktor Frankl. I think is really relevant, especially in our world right now, where there's just a lot going on, a lot we're taking in through the news and through social media. And the quote goes like this, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Let's just take a few moments of silence to just let those words settle in, whatever they might mean to you. Gently bringing your hands together at the heart and setting the intention perhaps to notice 
that space, that stillness between each inhale and exhale. Noticing how something as simple as that is pausing, finding moments to just pause and not react, not have to think, not have to do anything. But just pause in stillness, how powerful that can be. And when you feel ready, you can blink your eyes open, gazing down to your fingertips and release the hands. And if you're not already sitting or at your mat, go ahead and come to your mat. Make sure you have a towel or blanket to pad your knees for our practice today. And let's get started. So let's start in child's pose. So you wanna take your towel or blanket and place it across the middle of your mat so that you can have some padding for your knees. And just come onto your knees, open the knees as wide apart as is comfortable. Sit back on those heels and then walk the hands out in front of you. Let your forehead come to the floor or you can make a little pillow with your hands like this. And start to settle into your breath here. Feeling the ujjayi breath, constricting the back of your throat as you inhale. Noticing the pause and then the exhale. Noticing the pause at the bottom. Taking a few breaths just like that. Feeling your body settling into this pose. Noticing whatever sensations are coming up for you. Letting the hips be heavy, letting the chest sink down. And on each inhale, belly expands. Each exhale, belly draws in. Okay, and on your next inhale, we'll come up onto the hands a bit here. We're going to take the right hand, the right arm, and slide it under your body to the left. And then bring your right shoulder and your right ear to the floor. As you slide that right arm all the way out to the left as much as you can. And letting your hips settle down towards the heels. Extending the left arm out in front of you. And just feeling the weight of your torso resting over the right arm and steady ujjayi breath and then on your next inhale we'll press ourselves back up and the right hand to the floor, left arm is going to slide under you all the way out to the right. Bring your left shoulder, left ear to the floor and reach the right arm out in front of you. And settling into your steady, slow ujjayi breath here. And then inhale, slowly walk yourself back up. Coming up onto hands and knees. 
Lift the hips up and bring your knees right underneath the shoulders, coming into tabletop position. So spread your fingers wide, feel your palms and your fingertips on the floor, feel the tops of your feet on the floor, and let's begin with some cat cows. So as you inhale, we'll drop the belly, look up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, round your back, tuck your chin and tailbone. Inhale to arch the back and peeking up towards the ceiling. Exhale to round and tuck. And pull the belly in. And again, two more times like that on your own. And just feeling your body, feeling your breath. And after your last exhale, we'll come back onto all fours, tabletop position, and then we'll come into our lateral cat cow. So you'll inhale and center, and then exhale, look over your right shoulder towards your right pinky toe, and hips slide to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, look over the left shoulder, hips to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, look right. Inhale, center. Exhale, look left. And one more time, inhaling to center. Exhale to the right and just feeling the stretch down your left waist. And inhaling, center and exhaling, look left. And inhaling back to center. Good. From here, we're going to walk the hands forward, tuck the toes, and stretch into your first downward facing dog. So lifting those hips up, settling the heels towards the mat, feeling your fingers spread wide on the floor, creating a nice base for your body. And we can pedal the feet out, bending one knee, bending the other knee. And still staying with that steady ujjayi breath. And then let's settle into a static downward facing dog. Let your head be really heavy. You can rock the head side to side so you're really releasing your neck. Soften your knees if you need to in order to lengthen your spine. So really press your hands into the floor. Lift your tailbone up and back. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Good. Shift your weight to the left foot and just float your right leg up and back as much as you can. Try to keep equal weight on your hands. Oops. And then exhale, bring the knee to the nose and step the leg through for a low lunge. I'm sorry, a high lunge. Okay, so your um, back knee is lifted. I'm having technical difficulties here. <laughs> okay, so back knee is lifted, hands are on the floor. Yeah, we'll come into that spinal twist again. So inhale, sweeping the right arm up, up, up towards the ceiling. Exhale, pull the right knee in towards you, trying to bend it about 90 degrees or so, and press the left heel back, okay? And then just feel your body here. So the arms are stretching as far apart as they can, externally rotating both arms, waking up your whole body here, breathing into any areas that feel that they're not getting any attention or breath. So breathing even down into those left uh, pinky toe. Breathe in. Exhale, bring that right hand down. Okay, let's extend the front leg and press the left heel towards the floor. Yeah, And then as you inhale, we'll bend the front knee 90 degrees. 
and then exhale, straighten that front leg. Any amount, doesn't have to be all the way. Again, inhale, bend the left knee, and exhale, extend the front leg as much as is comfortable. And one more time, inhale to bend, and exhale, extend. Good. Bend the front knee, flatten your hands onto the floor, downward facing dog, stretch it back. And again, release your head, rock your head side to side, spread the fingers wide. And really try to connect and bring attention to your whole body here. So even the tips of your fingers, feel your belly expanding and contracting. Feel your heels grounding towards the mat. Shift your weight to the right foot. Bring the left leg up and back. And exhale, knee to nose. Step it through into your high lunge here. Getting ready for spinal twist. So right hand stays on the floor. Left knee bends. Inhale the left arm up, up, up to the ceiling. Hug the left knee in. Extend through the left fingertips. And deep inhale, ujjayi breath. Exhale out. Inhale one more time. And exhale, looking down to the floor, bring your hands to the mat and extend the front leg as much as is comfortable. So it doesn't have to be all the way straight. Just looking for a stretch into that left hamstring and calf. Inhale, bend the front knee into your high lunge. So you want to feel the stretch in that right hip flexor. And then extend the front leg. Feel the back of the front leg. And bend into your high lunge. Good. One more time. Extend, sinking the left heel downwards. And bend. Beautiful. Flatten your hands to the floor and downward facing dog. Take three breaths here in downward facing dog. Inhale, follow your breath to the top. Settle into that pause and then exhale. Notice the pause at the bottom. Two more times. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause, inhale, pause, and exhale, pause. Shift the weight to the left foot, inhale the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, step that leg through one more time. From here, we're going to drop the back knee to the floor and extend the front leg as much as is comfortable. So you can walk your hands back a little bit and pick up those right toes. So you're flexing the foot, once again, stretching in the back of the leg here. So breathe. Make sure that you're patting that left knee here if you need to. And as you inhale, come up onto your fingertips, lengthen your spine as much as you comfortably can. And as you exhale, straighten the front leg as much as is comfortable, pull the toes towards you, and softly fold over the front leg. Deep breath in. Notice the pause, deep breath out. Notice the pause. Two more times. Again, feeling your entire body so you're probably really feeling the back of that front leg. But keeping awareness on the whole body as well. The left knee, the left heel, toes, the spine, the head. Feel it all as one. Last breath here. Good. Exhale out. Beautiful. From here... Lengthen your spine, 
We're going to untuck the back toes and drop the right pinky toe towards the floor. Okay, it doesn't have to touch, but it's kind of angling downwards. Slide your left foot to the left. It's going to come off of your mat. And then walk your hands towards the right. And you can pull the right heel a little closer towards you. So you should feel a stretch, a little bit more of an intense stretch um, in the hamstring, in the calf, and also the IT band. So kind of the outer section of that right leg. And this one can be pretty intense. So adjust your body as it wants to be adjusted. So you're finding just the right amount of intensity for yourself. Okay, it shouldn't be so um, light that you don't feel anything. <clears throat> just ease into it until you start to feel your body resist a little bit. You'll feel the ins sensation intensify. And then we'll pause and settle and breathe into that space. Let's take two more here. So oftentimes the reaction in a challenging pose like this that's pretty intense is to let our minds go somewhere else or start to think about other things. But we really want to practice being and feeling our bodies, being with our experience, not just up in our heads. So just seeing if you can practice that in our practice today. On your next inhale, we'll walk the hands back to center, bring the left foot back to the mat, and flatten the right foot to the floor. Oh, hands to the floor, downward facing dog. Step it up and back, big stretch. Feel your spine, feel the difference in your legs. You can lift the heels up off the floor and then exhale, press the heels down. Good, one more time, lift the heels off the floor, lift your tailbone high as you can. Exhale, release the heels. Good, shift your weight to the right foot, left leg lifts up and exhale, step it through. And we'll lower the right foot down. Good. Shift your hips over the back knee, lift the left toes, and feel into the perfect variation of this pose for yourself. Okay. So you can adjust how much you're flexing the foot, how much you're straightening the leg. As best as you can, lengthen the spine, come onto those fingertips and then very gently soften the upper body. And let your chin come towards your chest so you're stretching down through the spine, the cervical spine, the back of the, the head. And take a deep breath in, feel your belly and your lungs expand. It's kind of nice to visualize this in your mind your lungs expanding like balloons in the chest. So you're really feeling it from the inside. Exhaling, feeling that ujjayi breath. And take one more here. Okay. Now drag your left heel a little bit closer to you, maybe half an inch. Okay, and then untuck the back toes. Left pinky toe drops down towards the left. Right foot slides to the right. Okay, and then hands move towards the left. And you can adjust into this pose however you see fit. So if you want more intensity, you'll walk your hands back a little farther. You'll flex your foot a little bit more. You'll drag your heel a little closer towards you, okay? So find your pose, your edge, and 
If your mind wants to wander, try to bring it into your body. Bring it into your breath. Follow your breath. And just feel your whole body kind of waking up here. So in particular, this left leg. But keep attention on the whole body, the top of the head, back of the neck, the hips, the right leg. Deep breath. Exhale out. And just enjoying those spaces in between the breath. Good. On your next inhale, we'll gently walk our hands to center. Flatten that left foot, bring the right foot back to the floor, and downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Okay. Spread those fingers really wide. Heels soften to the mat. Bend your elbows about one inch. So bend your elbows just a little bit. And then hug your elbows towards each other and feel your shoulder blades flatten on your back. So your um, shoulder blades are nice and broad on your back. Okay, and then relax your head. Try to keep those shoulder blades nice and flat and then you can straighten your arms a little bit here. Deep breath in. Exhale through your mouth. Good. Shift the weight to the left foot. Right leg sweeps up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Step into crescent lunge. So we're going to ground through the feet and then inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. Okay. Right knee bends about 90 degrees. And we're going to shift from here right into warrior two. So the left heel flattens to the floor. We're going to angle our bodies a little bit to the left. Bend the front knee, make it cover up that pinky toe, and then stretch the arms out wide, gazing over the right fingertips. Feel your shoulders aligned over your hips. They're gonna wanna lean forward. So you might have to kind of shift your upper body back and feel them right over your hip bones. In this pose, again, feel your whole body. Hug your inner thighs towards each other. Feel your feet flat on the ground. Arms extending out. You're expanding your energy out. Nice and strong, stable, steady like a warrior. Breathe. Exhale, hold. Noticing the pauses between the breath. One more. And exhale. As you inhale, drop the back hand. Right arm reaches up, up, up to the ceiling. Stretch it up high and over the head. As you inhale, come back to warrior two. As you exhale, right elbow on the right thigh. Left arm sweeps up and over, side angle. Feel the stretch down the entire left side of the body. Scoop your tailbone underneath and bend the right knee. Deep breath in. You're doing great. And exhale. We're going to bring that left hand behind the back. And if you can, just place your hand on your back like this, or you can try to hold the right inner thigh. And from here, just relax your head, little stretch for your neck. One more breath. And look to the floor, bring the hands to the mat and make your way into downward facing dog, nice and slowly, no rush here. Oh, deep, deep breath in. Exhale out. Shift your weight to the right foot. Left leg lifts up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through, crescent lunge. So find your footing. Once you're stable, stretch the arms up. 
Exhale, bend into that front knee. And shift into warrior two. So right heel spins down to the mat and then your hips kind of open towards the right. From here, bend the front knee, make it cover up your little pinky toe and stretch the arms out. Expand nice and wide. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. Expand through the arms and fingertips, looking over the left fingers. And deep breath in. And out, noticing once again, settling into the pauses between each breath. One more inhale. And exhale. Soften the back arm. Inhale the left arm up and over. Big side stretch here. As you exhale, side angle. Bring your left elbow to the thigh. Right arm reaches up and over the head. So bending into that front knee as we draw the right shoulder back, spiraling the heart, open towards the ceiling. Feel your left foot on the floor, feel your right foot on the floor. Breathe here. And exhale out. Bring the right hand behind your back, either placing it on the back or reaching for the left inner thigh. And a little stretch for the neck so you can let the head be heavy if that feels okay. Otherwise, you can just keep it in line. Deep breath in. And exhale out. Okay, last breath here. Exhale out. And gently releasing the hands, make your hands uh, down to the floor. Shift your way into downward facing dog. Take your time. Nice, strong downward dog. Notice how this pose feels. Feel your tail, tailbone lifting up and back. Feel your hands grounding down, stretching your mat away from the feet. Feel your shoulder blades flat and broad on your back. Feel the strength and the flexibility of your legs. Deep breath in. Belly expands. Deep breath out. We'll take two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Soften your eyes, soften your jaw. Lower your knees to the floor. Coming on to all fours here. We're going to um, settle into child's pose for a few breaths. So separate your knees, big toes touch, and hips down towards the heels. Stretch your arms out and bring the forehead down. And connect with your ujjayi breath. And feel your whole body. And on your next inhale, we'll walk the hands back towards us, sitting back on the heels nice and slow. And we're going to come into a seated position. So we'll move the blanket out from under us or towel if you have one. We're going to come into a cross-legged position. If you want to sit on your towel, if that helps you to sit up a little bit more, you can do that. 
And from your cross-legged position, if you want a little bit more intensity in this, in this stretch for your hips, you can move your feet a little bit farther away from you and then bring your knees a little bit closer towards each other. Okay, and then you'll flex your feet, fingertips behind you, press down so you can sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine, and then as you inhale, slide your fingertips up the sides of your waist all the way up to the ceiling, and then exhale, gently fold forward, coming down as much as is comfortable here. You can bring your hands to the floor, relax your head, and deepen the breath. And then if you want to deepen a little more, walk your hands a bit farther out from away from you. Stretch the arms long and soften the upper body. Let your chin come towards the chest and breathe. Ujjayi breathing, noticing the stillness and the space between the breath. Inhale, slowly roll yourself back up. Take your time until you're sitting up nice and tall, long spine, shoulders relaxed, breathing in. And exhale. We'll use the hands to bring the knees together and we'll switch the cross of the legs. Okay. So again, if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, you're gonna bring your feet towards the uh, edge of your mat. So you're kind of bringing your shins parallel to the long edge of your mat. And then bring your knees a little closer together and flex your feet. Okay. So sit up nice and tall, long spine. As you inhale, slide the fingertips up. And exhale, fold. Coming down as much as is comfortable for you. Head is relaxed, fall into the breath. If you'd like a little bit of a deeper stretch, walk your hands a teensy bit more forward and fold over the legs, relaxing the head. And steady, slow breath. Inhale, the belly expands. Exhale, the belly draws in. And slowly walk your hands towards you, rolling up to sit tall, pausing here at the top. Take a breath in and out. Okay, we'll use the hands to draw the knees together and we'll move anything out of our way here. We're going to come into a Sphinx pose to finish off today, just to get a little bit um, more of a stretch in the front body. So we'll come down onto our bellies, prop your elbows underneath your shoulders, toes point straight back, feet apart comfortably, and spread your fingers wide, place your hands flat on the floor. Come. Let your belly relax towards the mat, soften your hips, 
gaze forward and hug your shoulders down and back. So active um, in the uh, back side of your body here. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Deep breath in. Pressing your hands, your forearms gently down into the mat. And draw your chest forward like you're trying to draw it forward between your arms. A little bit of an arch now in the spine. Opening the belly, the chest, the heart. One more breath here. Notice how it feels in this pose. And exhale out. Good. From here, we'll gently release and roll onto our backs. Take your time. As you come onto your back, bend your knees, hug your knees into the chest. Wrap your arms around and curl into a little ball. So tuck your chin, forehead towards the knees, squeeze in tight and tighten up your whole face, your nose, your mouth. And get your body as compact as you can. And then stretch the face, stick out the tongue, roll the eyes back. And release, come down into your final relaxation pose of Shavasana or any other comfortable resting position. So separate your feet, toes to the sides, hands away from you, palms up. You can rock the head gently side to side a few times. And then let your head settle in the middle. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And giving yourself this time to rest in Shavasana. Inhale, the belly rises. Exhale, the belly falls. And when it's time to come out, I'll ring a bell so you'll know. And until then, just observing. And giving yourself this time.
I'll read that quote one more time by Viktor Frankl. Between stimulus and response, there is space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Begin to deepen the breath, feeling the belly rise and fall. Place the left hand at the heart, right hand at the lower belly, feeling our bodies, feeling our breath, our heart center. And take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. On your next inhale, find a big stretch. Reach the arms up, stretch your legs, point your toes. And then exhale, roll to your right side and slowly make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Let your hands rest on your legs, palms facing up as you sit tall. Taking a moment to notice how you feel after your practice. Any difference from when you came in today? And as you exhale, bring your hands together at the heart and tuck your chin. And let's finish with our blessing Wishing happiness, peace, health, and safety to ourselves and to everyone here and beyond this class. Thank you for sharing your practice. May we bring this energy and what we've noticed or learned or cultivated out into the rest of our day and our week. Thank you for sharing your practice. Namaste.